Hey girls and guys, it's Presley, and today in this video, I'm going to be telling you guys a little story of how my mom and I have encountered skunks. So this happened several years ago when I was still in junior high, and my mom had to wake me up early in the morning before I had to get up to go to school. She had to wake me up early in the morning just so I can get some exercise in. So we had to walk to Brahms, you know, because it's not far. We had just had to walk straight straight ahead and it was somewhat far but not too far anyway we started walking and um i just passed by my old elementary school that i used to go to and i noticed my mom and i have noticed that there were two animals right next to the fence and um we soon realized that they were skunks two skunks right next to the fence and i was terrified i was like quivering in fear i was like holding my mom's hand hiding right next right behind her and stuff because i didn't want to get sprayed by a skunk no, i'm pretty sure nobody wants to get sprayed by a skunk at all because i'm pretty sure if you do get sprayed getting their smell off of your body will take forever and i'm sure their smell is worse than your own body odor who knows it could be worse I don't know what is worse, your body odor or your, or skunk spray all over you. So, you know, getting your um, a skunk sprayed on you is like body odor times 10. I'm pretty sure. Maybe I'm not so sure. Who knows? But yet, yet again, I was, I was terrified. I didn't want to get sprayed or even bitten by a skunk because the skunks could have had rabies. Any wild animal you probably come across, like a skunk or a squirrel, could have rabies, pretty sure. And then you have to hurry up to the hospital if you get bitten by a, like a rabid animal, just so you can, you know, get the rabies treated and all of that. I never got bitten by a rabid animal, thank God. That, 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 that would be terrible. I don't know what would be worse, getting sprayed by a skunk or getting bitten by an animal who's gotten rabies. That I, I, I don't know. Let me know what you think is worse. What do you guys think is worse? Getting sprayed by a skunk or getting bitten by a rabid animal? Let me know in the comments. So anyway, I tried to make sure the skunks didn't notice me or my mom because, you know, neither of us wanted to get sprayed. So eventually a few minutes went by and my mom and I still stood there. and But the skunks did move away from the fence. They, they moved away and ran across the road to just go um, go back to wherever they lived. And I don't even know where they lived. They just, they just ran across the road and just never to be seen again. I haven't encountered any alive skunks ever since then. So my mom and I had, um, went to Brahms and got breakfast. And I'll st I still remember that encounter till this day of, you know seeing skunks and um i don't know if my mom still remembers the story but i'm pretty sure she'll remember if i remind her because every time i remind my mom of past experiences that either i have in encountered or both of us have encountered um she'll be like yes presley i remember you don't have to remind me because i remind her a lot about past experiences you know, because of my repetitive nature or something like that. So, yeah. Anyway, that is the story of how my mom and I have encountered skunks. And let me know if you guys have encountered any other, like, you know, wild animal or something like that. Or do you think that getting sprayed by a skunk or getting bitten by a rabid animal is worse? Let me know. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Like, comment, share, subscribe all that jazz. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.